Hello everyone, my name is Randy. My YouTube channel is Randy the Reseller. If you're watching, thank you for joining in. I resell coupon household items and I also resell clothing on Poshmark. Um, personally, I apologize for the poor quality of this video. I'm just not gonna go invest, in, invest money in equipment until I see if I'm gonna stick with this YouTube thing. So today I'm here to talk about Poshmark. I'm pretty new, so I'm, I'm not the person to to be watching for professional advice. Um, I'm more someone to watch if you're just getting started and you want to grow with me and learn from my mistakes. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about today is some big mistakes I made that other YouTubers told me not to make. I, I didn't listen. It's, it's hard not to do when you're starting. The first one is buying too much stuff and it never gets listed. You go to a yard sale or a thrift store and you find all these great deals and you think, oh, I'm, I'm going to get a lot of stuff because it's so cheap. But then you get home and you realize either it's, it's things that really aren't going to sell on Poshmark or you're never going to list that many things. You're going to start to feel overwhelmed. What happened with me is my house got overcrowded and cluttered. I spent too much time trying to list things and organize them and it just became more and more disorganized and a bigger and bigger mess. So I'm trying to work through that now, get things back to a normal life at home and do this a little more slowly. So that's that's my first big mistake. Just don't go buy too much stuff at once. You don't have to have a thousand items in your closet. That's, that's just craziness. Fills up your house fast. Number two, and this is a big one that all YouTubers who sell on Poshmark will tell you, is buying things that you don't like or things that won't sell, just again, just because it's cheap. If you don't if you don't pick it up and look at it and say, I can't wait to get home and list this, don't get it. I have made that mistake. I'm still making that mistake every time that I go out and source for items. I, I, I'm trying to do a little bit better. It's a hard habit to break, but just just don't do it. If you don't pick it up and think, I can't wait to get home and list this, put it back down. Another big mistake, number three, is not organizing my inventory just as soon as I've listed it. I put it in a box. I, I think, well, you know, I listed 20 items today. I've done enough. I'll, I'll get it organized later on. And, and then it sits there, and then you sell several items in a day, you start looking, and, and the next thing you know, you spend hours of your week looking for things. So, finding a good inventory system is is very important. Um, I have one that I'd be more than happy to share in another video that I've recently started that's working very well for me. It's, it's basically the same one that I think almost everyone uses. I actually got it from another YouTuber. But organize, you know, where your items are, be able to easily locate them, or you're going to hate getting things ready to ship every day. You're going to absolutely hate it. My next big mistake was setting my prices too high. I, I would look at something, uh, I would read the comps, and i go straight to the high end of it, sometimes even a little bit higher, just to see what I could get. When you do that, no one looks, uh, you know, no no one looks at it they just scroll right on by you're not getting any you're not getting any traffic in your closet it's just a, a waste of time another thing i've done is turn around and setting my prices too low i was going from one extreme to the other you know this has been sitting here for a month now which really isn't that long but i, I just like to flip things fast i, I want to get rid of it so i'll i'll drop it from 35 dollars down to 10 dollars, and and it usually still sits there so what you want to do when you list your items is set a good price, maybe somewhere in the middle of the comps. Know what you want to get for it. Know the least that you're willing to take and go somewhere in, in between those two things. Just don't get, don't get too crazy with your prices. Another mistake that I made is paying too much for items. Um, I would go to Marshall's, even Bell's Outlet, you know, where they have their 15% off on Friday and look at their clearance racks and buy things. And I was paying too much for them. If you, if you find a lot of free people, Michael Kors, things like that in Marshalls, there's a reason that it's for sale in Marshalls for $20. And it's because no one's going to pay more than $20 for it. So just don't, don't do that. If, if you're going to source for new items, make sure you are really getting a great, great deal on things that you're not going to find a thousand more of on Poshmark. That's another big problem with buying from these places you'll look and see 50 other dresses just like yours. 
So I stay away from those places now. Um, one big thing that I like to I like to try to do, and I think I'm going to change it a little bit because I think this may be one of the reasons I have so much stuff that I'm not relisting. I try to keep on each sourcing trip. When I go out for the day, I try to keep my total total cost to under one dollar per item, and and I watch that like a hawk as as I'm sourcing. There's a a place in the town over from me that has a yard sale every single Friday. They they buy out of states or people give them stuff at the end of their yard sale days. And the, all of their clothes are 25 cents a piece. So I go there and I find some great stuff. One example is I found two pair of North Face men's jeans, or shorts, I'm sorry. Paid 50 cent for two pair. I listed them together on Poshmark and sold them for $25. So it's a great place for me to source but I have to be careful. I just start getting so much stuff because it's 25 cent a piece. And that's no good. That's, you know, I take it home. I'm overwhelmed because there's so much. I don't know what to do with it. I, I feel like I've got to hurry up and get it listed, put away something. So that's one thing I'm, I'm just going to stop doing. I'm, I may raise my bottom line to $2 per item just to help me pick out better things that will sell quicker. And, and I just don't have such a, I'm just not so run over with inventory. So I, I go to this yard sale and then I'll go to like a, a waterfront mission. They have a 50% off a certain color tag every week. So I'll go to the waterfront mission and I only look at those items most of the time. If I see something really good and I can keep that bottom line under a dollar, sometimes I'll pick it up for full, full price, but not often. I don't go to Goodwill at all. In our, our area, I checked every Goodwill within an hour and a half driving distance. Their prices are outrageous. They never have sale days. That Nothing goes on sale ever at any of our Goodwills. Some some of you people in other areas, I think, get some good good sales and good deals there, but, but not here. We have a few local thrift stores that, that have 10 cent bins. Um, I, I go there a lot. You, you just have to look in your area and, and see what there is and ask you know if you don't if everything looks a little overpriced ask them do you have any bins where, where you discount things because what happens at my thrift store they have a set price jeans are two dollars and fifty cent a pair i think tops are a dollar a pair kids clothing is 50 cent for tops a dollar for jeans they have set prices on everything but if they see items that they think are good good name brands they mark up the prices and put those on a different rack instead of Put, just putting them back on their normal sell racks after they don't sell, they just throw them in these 10 cent bins. So I find some good stuff there sometimes. Another bad habit I have is getting stuff out of that 10 cent bin that's probably not gonna sell. So I'm really trying to break those break those habits. Um, and another thing I've done is to set my goals entirely too high. I watch these people on YouTube who are posting 50, 60, 80 items a day and I think I've, I've got to keep up with that. No, no you don't. No, you don't. Some people can do that. I can't do that. I have too many other things going on. I'm a little too scatterbrained for that. I, I can't list that many items a day. So I tried to cut it back to 20. Even that was a little too, was just too much on some days. Some days I can get that done. Other days I just can't do it. So I have cut it back to 10 items a day beginning today. And I plan on doing that five days a week for the time being. Once my business grows and in I'm, I'm selling things quicker, making better choices with what I'm buying and selling things faster. I may have to bump that up. But to get me going, get me in a good routine, starting today, I'm doing 10 items a day, five days a week. I'm going to show you the 10 that I have today. And then it, probably, I may do 10 more tomorrow, but it'll probably be next week before I do more with, with the Thanksgiving holidays coming up. One thing I do want to say, people have mixed opinions about relisting items. Um, just taking them completely off Poshmark and relisting them. I recently did that just to see how it worked out for me. Some people say it works great. Other people say it's crazy. It's a waste of time. Don't do it. I had a pair of AG cigarette leg jeans that I had started out at $25, which I thought was a great deal. They're normally $70 to $80 retail. Um, I, I thought $25 would be a great deal, and they would go in no time. They sat, and they sat, and they sat. It was one of the first things I posted in August. About three or four days ago, 
I took it down. I re-photographed. There was nothing wrong with my pictures, except that I, I, with my jeans, I was doing a flat lay. I do, don't do that anymore unless they're larger jeans that are hard to hang. So I hung these jeans up, took a few pictures of them, relisted them for $35. And within an hour, I got an offer from a locker for $30 and I took it and ran. So I listed them $10 higher than I did to start with. They sat there for what, three, four months and didn't move. Within an hour of taking a different picture, relisting at a higher price, they were gone. I'm gonna try relisting again. Um, I'm, I'm, be choosy about your items. Make sure it's things that are, are worth wasting that time on. So what I'm doing right now is working on clearing out my closet of the things that I've gotten that, that just aren't worthy of being on Poshmark, really. Um, one thing I, I hate to say it, one thing I do when items don't sell for a while, sometimes I'll move them over to eBay and put them on auction for $1.99 or $2.99. Um, eBay's kind of like my outlet store. And, and I usually get rid of them for a few dollars. I, I don't make much on that, but... But it works. It usually goes. So I'm going to show you the 10 items. I've already photographed these today. I'm going to be listing them shortly. 10 items that I'm going to put in my closet today. And then I'm done with Poshmark for the day. I'm going to share my closet and share other people's items at the 9 o'clock party tonight. But other than that, I'm not wasting my entire day with Poshmark anymore because it's just too much. I'm going to limit my time and hopefully do better with it from there. The first thing I have is a Harley Davidson's or Harley Davidson men's t-shirt. This is probably backwards with my cheap little phone, but on the back it says Outer Banks, North Carolina. I'll probably list this for twenty dollars and um accept a twelve to fifteen dollar offer. Next thing I have is the White House Black Market. Um they've come in unbuttoned. A pair of White House Black Market Capris that are almost brand new. They are the, the newer label White House Black Market. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. But they're, they're cute little capris. Um, I'll probably list those for $20. I have another pair of White House Black Market pink capris. They're also the newer black label. And I'll list these probably also for $20 to $25. I have the sweater to win the any ugly sweater contest. Um, I picked this up at a at a thrift store. I think it was a dollar. Um, you know, I averaged out at the end of the day, it definitely was no more than a dollar. But it's just a cute little um, Jolly Sweaters is the brand. N never heard of it, but it's definitely ugly. It's very soft, and cozy. Feels like it would be very comfortable. It's got a little ball. I don't know if you can see up close, but the the kitten actually has fur on it. This would definitely win an ugly sweater contest. I actually got two of these. The other one has a little stain on the sleeve. So I'll probably list this one for $20. And I'll list the other one for probably 12 to 15 since it does have that stain. And I always disclose anything you find wrong with an item and look very closely. The next thing I have is a Judith March. Um, let's see if you can see this tag. A Judith March dress it's a sleeveless dress just a cute little i i don't know how to d describe some people do so great at describing these items while they're talking about them. it's just a dress it's just a sleeveless dress made by judith march i'll probably ask twenty dollars and expect 12 to 15 for that the next thing i have is a charming charlie dress this is cute this one can be worn with the straps, it has removable straps. You can take them off, and it's a strapless dress. Um, both of these dresses, by the way, are fully lined. I'll probably ask 15 to 18 for this. Um, Charming Charlie uh, is a good brand. It sells really fast, but the comps that I've looked at, it, it doesn't sell for much. So I only paid a quarter for this. I'll be happy with 10 to $15. One thing, two sweaters I found at Waterfront Mission that I did pay full price for a six dollars um once again the end of the day average with everything i bought averaged out to a dollar a piece but i found a couple of free people sweaters um i don't know it's really cropped i think it's one that kind of comes to to the bottom of, of most pants it's got the 
Somebody help me out in the comments. Tell me what kind of sleeves these are. I want to say dolman, but I'm pretty sure that's not it. Um, just a really cute, cute, cozy little sweater. Um, it's, a, it's in great shape. It's got one or two little snags that I'll get out with my sweater shaver. Nothing major. That's an off-white one. And then I have a cream, or a, I'm sorry, a pink one. The same thing. Free people. Yeah, you probably can't see it. Um, but just the same sweater in pink. I will probably ask $20 a piece for both of those. Then I have a Topshop t-shirt. It's probably backwards for you. I'm not sure. But it just has the, the rolled up sleeves. Um, it's, a, it's a thin, very soft shirt. Cute little top. Um, it is just a t-shirt. Not sure what I'm going to ask for it. I'll look at the comps. I haven't even looked at the Topshop comps yet. But that's that. And then I have, I, one thing I want to do every day is to have, I, I do sell men, women's, and children's clothing. So I want to have something from each category new to list every day. So I have a kid, size 7, 8, Jimboree, just a long sleeve button up boys top. It's in great condition. What I normally do with my kids clothes, you can always get those cheap. I go to yard sales all the time where they a sack full for a dollar. What I normally do with those is list them for a a price that I wouldn't pay if I had to pay shipping, you know, 10 bucks for the shirt. Wouldn't pay that with the shipping. So what I normally do is I pair them with a pair of pants, or if I can't do that, then I list for like three for $20, four for 20, sometimes even five for 20 on kids clothes. I'm starting to do that with a lot of my adult clothing too that's just not not worth quite as much. Um, hoping it'll get people to buy a few, you know, three or four items at the time. So that's another thing that I'm trying. And instead of having these crazy sales all the time, having to list, I, I just put in front of my listing now, three for 20, four for 20, whatever. I put that in my title, whatever, whatever kind of sale I want to have with that. And I just start it out that way if it's something that's not that great. And, and that's how I sell it. So anyway, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with 10 more items. If not, I will see you next week and if anyone has any advice or comments please leave them down below thank you for watching